When the word fairy tale crosses your mind, you think about the stories of Cinderella, Snow White, every single story you read or watched when you were little. The true question is, what is the relation between fairy tales and architecture? Fairy tale architecture, written by Kate and Andrew Bernheimer, invites the reader into a space of wonder that is constructed by a new form that will endure ever after. Think about it, the most important thing for an architect is to tell the story he sees in his mind, and he can be able to do that by drawing. So what is the importance of it? Our drawings are delineations imbued with our experience and memories, as Kate Bernheimer said. The authors are trying to show how architects use their own memories and what they see in their minds to create buildings that represent a story. But how can we know what is real and what is a fairy tale? Before we begin, please make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and we are happy to announce that the kind publishers of this book, Oro Editions, are giving away one copy of this book to you. To win, all you have to do is follow the three simple steps I will be sharing at the end of this video. And now, let us investigate. Is the dream world the real world? When Andrew Berenmeyer asked his sister Kate to give him a story about a flight, sky, or clouds in them, she sent him a tale known as the butterfly dream, where Chuang Tzu said, I dream myself a butterfly, floating like petals in the air, but in the end, he woke up from his dream and wondered, was he dreaming himself the butterfly, or was the butterfly dreaming itself Chuang Tzu? And that question was asked so many times, but no one answered it yet. When you think about it, you see that these images have a feeling of transformation of things. The architects rely on three rules for the construction of drawings, station point, perspective, and picture plane. So how can they tell their story? The tale of the butterfly dream was interpreted by Bernheimer architecture. In the beginning, the tale was represented by the black line drawings of the butterflies and flowers prettily framing a story about dreaming and waking, illusion and reality or you can say. This is what we mean by the transformation of things. In the end, the architect Andrew decided to replace the dreamer by a drone, which they flew over their family beach house. But when it came to drawing, it wasn't simple. They were confused. Do they draw the butterflies or the mechanics of flying? That was the question. They thought of everything. They remembered that the drone captures data in addition to photographs and video. So the exact movement of the drone, one has to remap or make spatial numerical data. The drawings of this story consist of data from the flight of the drone. This data was converted into a flight path and then a flight space. Finally, the space was then extruded into shapes and volumes, illustrating both the act of flying as well the act of seeing. Despite all of this, they didn't find the answer to their questions. Are we the drone or is the drone us? If you like this tale, then you're definitely going to enjoy this one. If you are afraid of death, then you have so much in common with Koche. He tried to cast spells on himself to prevent his own death. His fear consumed him all the time. His methods were unusual. He got an idea of removing his own soul from his body just like when Ursula removed Ariel's voice in The Little Mermaid. He planned to place it in a needle, then sliding the needle in an egg, tucking the egg in a duck, nesting the duck in a rabbit, placing the rabbit in a locked iron box, and finally burying this box under an oak tree. His plan worked exactly how he planned. But if you think about it, there are a hundred possibility that in the end someone will find the box by mistake. By that time, the duck and the rabbit would have suffocated already, and their little bodies would decay and the egg would be decomposed. So all that is left in the box would be a needle and some fair feathers and bones. And in the end, the needle would eventually break. This tale was an inspiration to LTL architects by creating breathtaking art. The idea they had gotten from the tale is how Coach Shea was obsessed with nesting of forms within forms, or spaces within spaces. For example, when they transformed the Helen R. Walton's Children Enrichment Center, an early childhood initiative center, into a structure that provides a home for childhood development and learning for 240 children 
children and an opportunity to learn from the building about the place in which they live and also the ring of vertical tree like poles that form the perimeter of the project proving the structure for the protective enclosure when you think about it it will remind you of the tree that shelters the rabbit in this project the idea of nesting plays out as a building in a landscape and a house within the building creating a sense of security within a large institutional structure everyone is afraid of death and the dream of every human is to live forever so the question is what will you do to make that dream come true would you do like coach Shay and put your soul in a needle let me know your answer down in the comments and i would like to mention that we also attached in the description some of our favorite udemy courses on adobe after effects and illustrator the programs we use to make these videos so make sure to check those as well we should know that those links are affiliates so you wouldn't only be learning and growing your skills you would also be helping us put out more content you might wonder what is the point of this book when kate decided to collaborate with andrew on this project they decided to show us that we can create anything from a simple fairy tale or even from we see in front of us and in order to dive deep in this book you can get it on amazon and you can participate in the giveaway i mentioned at the beginning in the video by writing down cinderella in the comments liking this video and subscribe if you haven't already because we do readings and book summaries like this that will help alleviate your architecture knowledge you can also follow us on instagram where we post building designs quotes and tips aimed specifically for architects and designers we wish you all the best and thank you so much for remaining till the end of this video and we will see you in the next one